Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Gaming Night, and uh, today I officially have played Run November, and I did a how to play this game in two parts, and I must say it's really, really pretty cool. I mean, it's, um, after I finally got, I got everything in little baggies and stuff, to sort of everything. Um, so I put all the event cards in here, all the tokens in this baggie. All the stuff that should, that needs to be either set aside or um, set up for the game prior, so they're all in bags. So um, it's easy and quick to set up. So I, I like to do that with the games that um, need a little bit of preparation. But uh, now, now who would like a game like this? Um, I would believe that um, if you're a fan of, co of cooperative games, you'd probably find this really interesting. Um, if you're um, got a family and that, um, you want something that's you, you know quick to pick up but can be challenged, this is a good game. If you got um, a tight area and you can't exactly play Arkham Horror, this game is good because it can fit like on your basic. Um, small end, end table or whatnot, and uh, it's quick and easy to set up. So, I mean, even the rules are pretty straightforward. There's really no confusion. Um, the way I see this game is it's pretty much a uh, each player will create is going forward in time, creating, um, messing with the time to continue them. So all the stuff that he does and his turn because you can only do one action per turn so you're going around the board and all, and then when you're done all these bad things are happening and everyone else has got to clean up your messes like as if they never, like before they even happen kind of thing so you're kind of like the actions happen then the other person cleans up it, it so the first person that goes first has nothing to worry about so usually you know it's kinda like oh the person that goes after that person makes a mess and then the other person has to clean up. It's pretty cool. So um, it's completely random what's gonna happen to you. Uh, it's chaotic. I mean it's, it adds a lot of tension. It really creates the atmosphere like you're really in the sub and you're about ready to die. And it's like these gnomes as we all know gnomes can't build anything really that great and sturdy. So this thing's basically if I had to sum it up, this is almost like the Titanic, except it's in the sub format, and you know, you basically are trying to survive for an hour. You now, the more players you have, um, the less time you have to survive. But that's only because the more players you have, the more stuff that's going to happen within that time frame. So, even though you have less time to survive to make it too, there's always that chance you're gonna barely make it by so it's definitely uh, worth a look into um <clears throat> and uh, it's not that pricey like as I said before in the earlier video I said I picked it up on a on a whim and they're saying because it was like actual budget title and I was able to afford it considering I'm not having a lot of money so and uh I did the lunch money, um, how to play lunch money up there for you. For all those that are interested, um, my Rock Band videos, I'm not going to be able to do those anymore um, for a little while until YouTube lightens up because UMG is pretty much saying some stuff's copyrighted, so, or something like that. I mean, I don't understand. It's like you're just showing off your skills. I really don't understand that. So it's kind of lame, but oh well. <clears throat> and, um, Telespin is this Tuesday. I'm going to film that game. Um, hopefully it's entertaining. I don't know what edition we have. It's Someone picked it up, so it could be the Fantasy Flight version. It could be second or third edition. I really don't know. So, um, I'm hoping it's easy to pick up for everybody because, uh, you don't have that many time to go over the const constraint of rules and stuff. And, um, yeah, roughly three hours to game, so, you know, 
So, if all abandoned all ye hope, um, Tuesday we're going to be playing that as long as nothing throws a monkey wrench and things. So, and then the following week, we're scheduling hopefully an Arkham Horror and once I'll tape it at Arkham Horror session. So you'll see Arkham Horror in action rather than just be showing how to play in segments. You'll see it in action. But I think that will do it justice. Uh, so. And after all this is all said and done, I want to thank uh, all 14 of my subscribers. I don't know them all by name and everything, but that's not the point. Um, my goal in the next within the next couple days is to get to 20 subscribers. Um, if you know anybody that uh, that's gaming or thinking about getting into gaming, especially board games, send them over this way and um, have them subscribe. I'm, I'm guaranteeing more videos because. Um, I have a lot more more stuff to show you. Um, I have yet to begin to show you what uh, what kind of games we'll be doing and uh, what kind of games I have. I have quite a bit, and I'm not just talking about games for um, like Arkham Horror and those kind. I'm actually going to be talking about kid games too, probably, because um, my niece and nephew are starting to get into board gaming. So, what better way to show what they got and talk about them to you guys too? Maybe if you're interested. Uh, so comment if you would like to be interested in seeing some, or me talk about some kid games that are, that are going to be a lot of fun for maybe if you have young ones. So, um, yeah, that's, that's all for now. Um, thanks for watching and, um, and thanks for all your support and I really appreciate it. And pretty soon I'll have some editing software and we'll be rolling, I'll be editing, I'll be slicing some stuff together and make it good, so. So you won't have to deal with um, me doing the uh, picture of things. Oh, and I didn't forget, Pirate Coves is coming up this week. Um, this next week, I'm doing a how to play that, and as promised, part three of how to play Shadows of Arkham is going to be in spoke. They're going to be like I am right now. I'm not going to do no editing or anything because I figured the last few parts that I want to show you is going to I can just explain to you really quick that way and then move on to something else. So, thanks and you have a wonderful night.